Hello and welcome to the latest installment of the Vault Stan Hewitt Hall Revealed. I'm standing this week on the Minstrel's Balcony overlooking the Great Hall in the Manor Home. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the Cyrilling family's philosophy. They use this term stick togetherness to describe themselves. Uh, they were a very close-knit group. F.A. and Gertrude had seven children, six of whom lived to adulthood, and F.A. was also one of nine children. Most of his siblings did stay here in Akron, get married, and have children of their own. So there was a really large clan of cyberlings residing here in Akron. They interacted with each other socially, professionally in the business world, and then, of course, on a familial level during holidays and gatherings. And this was really one of the motivating reasons when F. and Gertrude were talking about building Stan Hewitt Hall to make it so large. They knew their own children would eventually grow up, move away, but they wanted a place where everybody, their family as well as their extended family, could come back to and gather together. And in a letter that Willard Cyberling, um, F. A. and Gertrude's, one of their middle sons, wrote to his own children in 1954, he kind of describes the stick togetherness philosophy. The stick together family doesn't just happen. It is built on the kind of home in which the children grew up, on the spirit of happiness and harmony that existed in the home, on the love of the parents for their children and the devotion of the children to their parents. A large family that grows up in one community and stays united is indeed a fortunate family. I've been exceedingly fortunate in that all my life I have lived in one community where our large family has been a stick together family but also Stan Hewitt's service as a family meeting ground, a place of gathering at the holiday season, etc., should continue, as this was the first and primary reason for its coming into existence. At the passing of 144 East Market Street, Father said he would have to build a home big enough for, for all the big family to gather in, in order to keep the family together. This original purpose we should continue to bear in mind. So in 1954, when Willard is writing, um, F.A. Cyberling is really will only live a few more months at this point. He passes away in August of 1955. And Willard is kind of recognizing that this is a moment when if they are going to continue this tradition of stick togetherness, it's up to his generation now and his children who are becoming adults to continue to be a stick together family. So thank you so much for joining me again this week. And I look forward to seeing you at the next installment of The Vault, Stan Hewitt Hall Revealed.